your martial ability? Put him up! After ordering your guards back, you join the wild melee. As the ruffians become aware of your presence, they gang up on you, but you're still able to hold your own. You dodge their blows and land several of your own. Soon the peasants are lying unconscious at your feet in the mud. Thank you for this dance, gentlemen, but I must be off. Gain two martial and fifteen prestige. What a badass. So far, Castile's been pretty passive about um, this war. And I have an unlanded son. It's not much I can do about the unlanded... Well, there's something I can do about the unlanded son, but not at the the cost of doing of dealing with that the way I want to is a little too high at the moment, so I'm just going to hold off. And I have a suspicion that for this particular war it's going to involve taking the territory and then just sort of sitting on my hands for a while. If that's the case, I'll at least make my army stand down and wait till the Castilians show up on our borders. So if I'm not mistaken, this is actually my guy taking over. So it actually looks like the guy who I just gave hoist to is actually taking over Suffolk as well. Which is great. I mean, the more territory under that my vassals have, the happier I am. And this isn't really fantastic progress as far as the war score is concerned, so I think once this is done I'm going to stand the army down, I'm going to build up my personal retinue, and then I think I'll just have to kind of pretend that this war isn't going on and let that war score tick up. All right, still trying to kill the bishop. All right. Yeah, so as you can see, we've completely taken over the province that we want to hold, but it's not enough to say that we've won the war against the Castilians. So to preserve some of my... You know, basically to preserve my treasury, I'm going to make my personal forces stand down. And let's maybe put something into buying... Basically, this is just buying up some troops uh, for my personal retinue. And that just enhances the size of my army. Nope, oh, still got more education I can do. Alright, so this is uh, a girl, so I'm going to be doing one of these political educations. Alright, still failing to kill the bishop.
I think for here I'll just go for the Duke again so I can at least get all of my major title holders on my side. Uh, it's important that every generation I have one woman that I can marry off for the sole purpose of giving my enemies crap yet. <laughs> I wish I could say I treat women better in this game, but I really don't. Alright, so Duke Reynard the Wise is supposedly turning to my favor, but I'm not seeing that in the form of him abandoning his faction. Oh, he has abandoned his faction. Alright. Uh, so I hope he's going to start supporting my law soon. Ah, there we go, he has, so let's move on to the next representative. And we actually, we have a few options here, so this was... Uh, Moldovan, Oscar, Arthur, Malcolm, Archibald. And here what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the people who are easiest to sway over to my side, so that looks like Oscar, Duke of the Isles. AKA Princess Poison Pill. Crusader Kings 2 makes me do terrible things. I think... I'd like to say that's the case, but what I think is really the case is that I am a terrible person and so I like Crusader Kings 2. <laughs> I'm just gonna crank up the speed a little bit. Oh, hang on. We've got Angry Englishman. Ah, so this is actually nice. What I can do here, even without um, raising any of my personal troops, I can actually start knocking into these uh, English troops, and that'll raise my war score pretty cheaply. <laughs> Says the Canadian. <laughs> my co-conspirator, Duke Petra II, has hired someone to saw through the supports of the railing on the balcony King Bishop uh, Gabriel is known to frequent. Someone may soon take a bit of a tumble. Look out below! Oh, and the Castilians have shown up, so now we need to get my full forces. Failure. King Bishop Gabriel uh, discovered the sabotage that had been done on the railing. The carpenter was used, uh, we used was detained and revealed my involvement under torture. I can't be blamed for building cold violations. Yeah, I'm almost starting to think that this bishop is actually legitimately a representative of God. Okay, so I've taken a, an English prisoner. So basically this is a fantastic option for me to just run rampant over the English again to keep them down and then I'll start taking on the Castilians to raise that war score. It's just that this is such a great opportunity for me to uh, keep their army weak that when the next generation comes by... Alright, well we're gonna poison the bishop again. If only there were an assassinate button. Oh wait, Paradox removed it. I don't know, this is kind of a neat one. <laughs> All you liking C 